thieves are stealing cars in Kansas City more than ever. In a year-to-year -year comparison, we discovered 400 more cases this year than there were at this time last year. And 41 Action News reporter Kat Reed spoke to one of the most recent victims. Kat's live outside the Kansas City Police Department with his story. Kat. Mike Rian and Kansas City Police are used to getting calls about stolen cars. In fact, this year they've received more than 3,000. But for one local man, today's theft was especially difficult. It's an extension of me. It's not just a truck. To say Chris Odin loves his truck is an understatement. A full-size mattress fits in the back. So I can just sit in the back and go camping anywhere I want. I can, I've taken it to Colorado. He restored this 1990 GMC Suburban himself, rebuilding the transmission and tuning up the engine. But this morning, Odin learned he wasn't the only person who loves this truck. I hear it start up. I jump up and make it to the hill right here before to watch him drive away in my truck. The worst part is that this all happened on his 24th birthday. My blood, my time, my personality. People know me as, hey, that's Chris that drives a Suburban and now some other guy is driving around beating it up and not loving her like she deserves. Kansas City police data shows from October 15th to November 14th of this year, 334 cars were stolen. Many of those thefts are posted here on the Stolen KC Facebook group. The more unique the vehicle, the better success we find. Brucker started the page and the new Got Stolen Foundation specifically to help people like Odin. Many of the posts on Stolen KC end with success. And we've got 95,000 people that are out looking for your vehicle and your asset, whatever was stolen. Odin posted his story on the page and just hopes he can have his happy ending, a reunion with the truck he loves. I'm just wondering how fast we can find it, and that's what we're really hoping for here is to get her back and get her back to run in shape and in my arms, I guess. <laughs> So we're getting to that time of year where it's tempting to let your car run in the driveway, warm it up a little bit before you get in. But a reminder that not only leaves you vulnerable to thieves, it's also illegal. Reporting live in Kansas City, Cat Reed, 41 Action News. Yeah.